Hello YouTube, this is Remington H. Today I'm going to do an unboxing video on a recent purchase I made with Discount Electronics here in Austin, Texas. Uh, what I purchased was the Samsung Chrome XE550 C22 laptop PC. This is the, uh, the product page for it on their website. $159, it seemed like a pretty decent deal. Um, let me just go through a little bit of the specs here. Okay, according to Discount Electronics specifications, Chrome OS pre-installed, Intel Celeron Dual Core 1.7 GHz processor. Uh, from the research I've done, I think that is incorrect. I think this is actually a Sandy Bridge-based Celeron Dual Core 1.3 GHz processor. Memory 4 GB, storage 16 GB solid state drive. Uh, Bluetooth version 4.0. I believe that is incorrect. I do not believe Bluetooth is included in this model. I'll find out when I when I open it for sure. So this isn't really advertised as a used or refurbished computer. At least it doesn't say obviously on their website in the description. Uh, you can tell that it's refurbished based on this section of the website it's in, although there's no way really to uh, to see that when you're looking at it. When you click on products and you select laptops, it just so shows up right here as an option. So I'm familiar with Discount Electronics, so I understand that they sell used and well used computers. But that's something to be aware of. I wish they would uh, point that out more clearly in their product page. This is the box it comes in, nicely and professionally packaged. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try to open this one-handed, and let's see what we have here. Okay, let's see, what is this? Power adapter, maybe? Third aftermarket? It is an aftermarket power adapter. Take another look at that in a second. And here's the laptop. So, of course, what I'm most interested in is the condition, cosmetically, of this quote-unquote refurbished, but really used, most likely. Decently well packaged. It hasn't had to come very far. Uh, I live in Austin, Texas, so... So you can see this is the uh, kind of interesting. Okay, here it is. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. A few scratches. Uh, it's probably showing up under the light more obviously than it actually looks in real life. Uh, could have been worse. I was hoping for maybe a little better, but that's not bad. at the screen for any scratches. Uh, screen looks fine, I believe. Good. And um, doesn't look very well worn. Keyboard feels nice. And there it is, the Samsung Chromebook. I'll probably do another video of its operation, but I just wanted to show a quick unboxing boxing video of purchasing from Discount Electronics. Okay guys, so I went ahead and turned it on and I uh, joined my wireless network, but that actually wasn't very easy because it appears that, I don't know if you can see that, I have a problem with the trackpad possibly. Mouse movement is very jerky to non-existent. You can see the mouse there. I'm trying to, to move it with my finger and it's not, uh, not moving very well, so may have to take this one back. I'll follow up here in another video if I get it working. Okay, well I figured out what the problem was. As you can see, I'm using the uh, mouse right now, and of course everything's fine with, with the mouse pointer. But when I disconnect the mouse, as you can see, it's a problem. It doesn't work right. When I disconnect the power, everything's fine. So it would appear that this uh, third-party power adapter that Discount Electronics sent me must be quite dirty. I suspect it's uh, 
putting out a lot of RF or something. Something's causing it to, to interfere with the trackpad. So I'm going to have to go back to Discount Electronics tomorrow and bring it with me and show them the problem and see what they suggest. Maybe they have a different power adapter they can exchange out. Otherwise, uh, it seems very fast as I search the internet. Um, it's a little different. I'm going to have to study up on my Chrome OS, but everything seems pretty simple. It's all browser-based, so we'll see how that works out. I just want it for internet, Netflix, and um, email and that sort of thing. So, so that's really all I care about. This Samsung Chromebook might might just do the trick. The quality and fit and finish is very nice. It's not MacBook Air standards, but uh, as you can see, they, they very much saw inspiration in the design from the MacBook Air right down to the to the power button. Um, so we'll see. Screen's nice and bright and sharp. Uh, it's lightweight. It's very thin. It's speedy. So I'll see how it works out. Thank you, N73.